Long division, folks. So long, in fact, it spans the whole country. By the end of this week, one third of our kids will be back in school. Begs the question, what kind of environment are we sending our kids back into? This summer has been a summer of chaos for our nation's schools, teachers, and most importantly, parents. Contrary to the current land grab by our teachers, parents still have the right to decide what our kids are being exposed to in school. At least that was until the Democrats took control of D.C. Now, it seems that the liberal leftists running the teachers unions think they can do whatever they want to our children, even when it borders on brainwashing. These buffoons think they can indoctrinate Nate, our most vulnerable minds with their liberal theories and propaganda-laced policies, and we just stand by and nod our heads approvingly. Think again, teach. To Loudoun County, Virginia, the epicenter of the fight over critical race theory being taught in America, we've seen countless parents fed up with a program that suggests white kids should be apologetic for being white, and black kids should feel oppressed even when there is no sign of oppression. In Loudoun County, it's crossed the line. Apparently, the teachers' union is demanding teachers rat out other teachers for their opinions if those opinions don't agree with critical race theory. And get this, I'm not talking about in the classroom. No, these commies want teachers to turn in fellow teachers who say things in their personal lives. Don't believe me? Just watch as Laura Morris, a fifth grade teacher in Loudoun County school system, resigns because she can't take it anymore. So since my contract outlines the power that you have over my employment in Loudoun County Public Schools, I thought it necessary to resign in front of you. School board, I quit. I quit your policies, I quit your trainings, and I quit being a cog in a machine that tells me to push highly politicized agendas on our most vulnerable constituents, the children. I will find employment elsewhere. I encourage all parents and staff in this county to flood the private schools. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That is just sad. When the teachers union said they were focusing on division this year, I had no idea they meant critical race theory. Now, staying on the subject of long division, let's head south a piece to Atlanta, Georgia, where segregation is still illegal. Title VI of the Civil Rights Act prohibits children being segregated by race in our classrooms. Someone tell that to the folks in the Atlanta School District, where Lynn Elementary has decided segregating kids by race is best for them. Kyla Posey, who is black, claims Principal Sharon Briscoe, who is also black, told her she believed segregated classes were the best interest of the students. Wow. What's going on in the Atlanta School District, folks? You're getting an F in communication, Atlanta. Speaking of Fs, solid Fs, in fact, Oregon Governor Kate Brown, a Democrat, recently signed a bill that drops the requirement that high school students prove proficiency in reading, writing, or math before graduation. In an effort to woke explain the move, the governor's office said this about the move. The new standards for graduation will help benefit these states, quote, black, Latino, Latinx, indigenous, Asian, Pacific Islander, tribal, and students of color. Wow. So far, Democrats running the nation's schools are getting A's in segregation and division and solid F's in social studies. And we haven't even gotten to mask mandates in schools. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.